All right, got a no heat call. It is Sunday. And uh, obviously I was hoping to be finished early today. I had a couple, a couple of calls right after church I had to go do and had a little break there for a couple of hours and now we got another one came in. So we've taken care of this house for quite a few years and I'm not gonna leave them without heat if I can help it. So let's go in here and see what's going on. All right, got continuous fan going. I don't know if I got it cut on. Doing that on purpose or not. The old C9 MVX it looks like, but we'll know for sure when we get the cover off. Old comfort taker. Remember those coils that had the lines coming out of the top and the drain out of the bottom? Looks like a two inch flue pipe on a great big furnace. So I guess these must tolerate that. But let's open it up and see if we're getting any diagnostics. Actually these. You can sometimes Must just have the fan going. Let's see what we got here. All right. There goes. Better trapped. Look at those first. Oh boy. Look at that top burner. All that soot up there. is that about and the fan actually went off so I don't know if they turned it off or what happened here mm. a little bit of rust in the cabinet like that's been stripping in the cabinet and on the ground here for quite a while. This is one of those sandy houses, a lot of sand under here. So that's probably why it's not muddy. It soaks through pretty good, soaks down. But it doesn't look real good in the bottom of the cabinet. That's a little too short. Needs a clamp right there. Usually you find clamps laying around in here when they're not on. But I don't see one. Well, maybe we're gonna have to jump it out. Looks like I'm missing one screw or zip screw in it. Let's get it open over here. Piece of tape on the door switch. Stole it from right there. Somebody commented about that the other day that I shouldn't be doing that. So I just thought I would let whoever that was notice that uh, I just did it again. And yes, I will probably leave that there. It's just something I never think to do is take the tape off a door switch usually when I when I tape a door switch it stays taped so I'm gonna make me a little jumper wire right quick because I did not bring my alligator clip when I usually have it on my belt loop but just didn't bring it so let's jump out R and W and see what happens all right so this is a C9MVX, so that's a two-stage variable speed and nothing on W2. So this should have either a jumper from W1 to W2 or it should have a two-stage thermostat with a wire on W2. So 
And for some reason, they have a black wire on the R. Here comes the induced draft. I really don't like the look of that top burner and all that soot up there. That's really bad. Let's see if we get an ignition. Yep, it comes in mine. And there was the rollout up top. It's still there. Let me cut this one. all that roll out it's looking pretty bad I think maybe we better uh, do two or three things here number one just looking at it that gas pressure looks awful low to me and another thing is those air horns or that's what I call them the burners take those out and look, they might be all suited up. So, look at that. The laughter burner there. I'd say this thing here is clogged and suited up. And I would say that it has happened from years of operating with low gas pressure is what it looks like let's look a little further and see what all right let's look up in these and see if we can see them looking any different That one is definitely black looking, if nothing else. But look up there, boy. So let's pull this out and get a look at it. So I've pulled it out. And you can see the flame sensor a little bit crooked. So, the bottom one is the only one that really looks clean to me. All these others are boogered up to the max. And that kind of explains all that garbage, but I wonder why these other ones aren't. That top one, man. Seriously, not looking well. And I'll tell you what, that rollout is way out away from all that, so it had to get pretty bad to trip it. I wonder why there's no rollout right there. There is here. Um, and I bet you the installation instructions, I don't know this for sure, but I'm thinking in a horizontal position, this should be in the top. If not, there's two of them. Like I don't, I don't remember enough about these furnaces to know if there's actually two of these and somebody took one out up there. Or if there's only one and it should go at the highest point. But let's clean this burner up. Check the gas pressure. Fix that hose. 
See if we can get these people some heat. All right, <clears throat> before I go get a wire brush and hook the nitrogen up and all with a blower on it, I just laid this here. Look at that. Jeez. I think we need new ones. Got one good one. It's on the bottom. All right, let's take this thing outside and see what we can do. Okay, with a little bit of help from the helicopter. This time the helicopter actually was help. Um, he caught me coming out to see what I was doing. And uh, so I showed it to him and explained it to him. And he actually had, you know, some compressed air in his garage and was nice enough to plug it in and he had a blower tip. And so we went to town, stuck some little pieces of wire in it and as you can see, we can we can see through them all now. I would feel better, honestly, if I had a new one. But we're going to put this back in. Let's stick the flame sensor back in here. I'm going to put this back in and uh, check these gas pressures and see if that's probably not the reason it was all suited up to begin with. Natural gas doesn't usually do that without a reason. And I would say this thing has run on low pressure for its whole life. Now, obviously, the two-stage, it does run in a little bit lower pressure situation, but on a really, really long cycle, which is not the intent of the manufacturer. Um, it can do some of that, and that's the reason we're going to loop this wire and make this thing run 10 minutes in low or whatever these, these boards I think do about the same as our train boards. They run 10 minutes in low and then they kick into high. And uh, so let's put this thing back together and see what we got. So I made the little, jumper for W1 and W2 and uh, called the customer back in the house and, uh, just like he asked me to and had him cut it on and we're just going to see if it's burning any better in low just like it was. And you can see the gas valve has the low and high adjustments. It still looked a little fluttery. All right, so it is 617 at 627 it should jack up into high gear and we should see the flame, you know, the valve click into high and we should also hear the fan ramp up at that same time. So we're going to watch that process. Like I say, I added the jumper. Normally I would just strip back enough white to wrap through, but this didn't look like it wanted me to do that, so I just stuck my little jumper on there. I don't see the rollout as bad at all really now when it's burning, but when it when it started it was so So I'm gonna watch it that 10 minutes and see that it goes into high and uh, I think after that I'm gonna let the house get heated up a little bit they're really cold in there this is the bottom floor it looks like this thing is shaking I don't know if it's showing on the camera or not There 
go. You can see where it's coming out of the crease. I believe this blower wheel might be a little bit out of whack. But, give it 10 minutes. And, uh, see if we can see it go into high. Alright, I found this bag under here. These are kind of handy if you if you ever need to go down first with a exhaust pipe and then back up, which you can do by the way. A lot of people don't realize that. You come out here and you've got no way to, to get rise out the end. You can uh, come out of the end or, or down here and you can go down and then back up and you just put this on the bottom of a T where you come down and then let that drain and then the flue goes back up. There's no problem with that. With most any manufacturer, people don't always realize that and they don't know it or believe it or like it. All this was in there, but no clamps. Not a clamp there, not a clamp there. None there, so I don't know where all the clamps went. That bag was laying right there. I've looked all around in here. Let's see if I could find, at least if I just had one. But I think if I dig around in my truck, I might be able to find one I can put right there. And that will let the water go out instead of right down there like it's been doing. As you can see, that's not going to stay. So, how far? Oh, we're in the last minute. It's 6:26. So at 6:27, it should jump into high. A little light, hoping we can see and hear it. I don't think we're going to get high gear here. I wonder if it's 12 minutes on a comfort taker. Train is 10 minutes. Must be 12. It's been 12. I'm sure it didn't slip by me. both wires going to the valve. It does not appear to be in high to me. Definitely a two-stage valve. You can see that right here. Brown and blue are your two speeds, and then there's your ground, that green and yellow one it goes right over here to ground. So it takes the place of the common. I think it went into high. All right. All right, we're gonna leave this thing. I like that little window. It's pretty cool. when you can actually see all the burners from and uh, they aren't bad furnaces looks like I dirtied it up a little bit but we're definitely going to be back here because the gas valve is no good for stage two we're going to replace that valve and we'll address the gas pressure issue then and uh, he 
said it was up to me about ordering a new set of air horns or burners, whatever we want to call those, mixture tubes, whatever they are, chambers. I don't know what, you know, different manufacturers call them, but I've just always called them air horns. But nonetheless, uh, they have heat, so he's happy. And uh, I'm gonna call Baker, order a new valve, and uh, we'll go from there. So we may, so we may do a follow-up video. So anyway, let's get out of here. Get on home for once. Thanks for watching.